What's up, everybody? We just got some amazing, spectacular, ultimate, and whatever other words are used to describe Spider-Man. We just got some amazing posters, some character posters for Marvel Spider-Man 2, and they look incredible. If you're as hyped as I am for this amazing game, <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say amazing in this video, but if you're as hyped as I am, then drop a like and comment who you're looking forward to in this But before we get into this video, if you want some damn good shaker cups, energy drink, or something to help you wind down, then Poggers Energy is the drink for you. They have amazing drinks, shaker cups, and stickers to customize your shaker cups. If you need energy to keep going for your day, or if you need something to help you wind down, then use my code BEARBELL10 for 10% off of your order. Thank you, Poggers Energy, for sponsoring this video. So, first one off is the one and only the best hunter boy, Craven. And when I say this is the best design for Craven, I mean this is the best design for Craven. He has the lion mane, he has the knife, he's just this big, hulking, beefy man who wants to come to New York and have. A great hunt. I love the um, skull pauldron thing that he has on his left shoulder. Just all around, he looks like he's going to be a tough son of a bitch to take down. And I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs> Next up is... Lizard, a Dr. Kurt, Kurt Connors, and oh my lord, this dude looks like a absolute monster, like a actual beast. If it wasn't for this being a Spider-Man game, I would think that he's just an SCP. Because he's literally giving off SCP uh, energy. And also, he is the most detailed I've ever seen. Like, you can see the scaly, kind of leathery skin that you would think a lizard has. Just looking at him, I can tell that his spikes are sharp as hell. Next up is possibly the best uh, image we've seen of the black suit in this game. Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. I'm putting them up all up on screen. If I was a cop, I'd love me. But, oh my lord. Aside from the classic one that we've obviously seen in terms of the symbiote suit that goes onto Pete, this one might be my favorite. This one might be my favorite. It has the stuff we're used to in terms of the classic symbiote suit. You know, just the black suit with the white spider, the big white eyes. But it also has just the insomniac touch to it. It ha still has that like kind of liquidy texture around it with some bits that move on their own. So, you know, it's just not quite right. And also, 
look around, like the background. Um, it's night and heavy rain, like heavy rain. So I'm thinking, and a lot of other people are thinking, could we get like a rain setting? Because in Miles Morales, we could control whether it's light snow, medium snow, or heavy snow. So could that be the same thing for Mama Spider-Man 2? I would very much like that. And now for the two suits that need little to no introduction. We have the Advanced Suit 2.0 for Peter, and they took what was already damn near perfection with his first Advanced Suit, and, uh, and upgraded it. He has like his front spider stays inside the chest area it's red and blue instead of orange and blue he has a silver kind of metallic -y trim going along the chest and more white around his arms it just works it just works and obviously he has the Iron Spider arms built in to his suit. Um, I'm kind of kind of curious how he gets them because um, how would he get them? <laughs> in the suit that I am so excited to play in, Miles. Uh, Miles' this new suit. The upgraded suit. Not much has changed in terms of miles. The black looks a bit deeper and more black instead of kind of blackish gray. His red lines go down his arms and kind of on his gloves slash gauntlet. I think there's a bit more like textures around the suit. Like I said, not much has changed for Miles in his suit. Uh, okay, also there's web wings in both his and Peter's suit, new suits. Which is going to be so fun to fly around in. It's going to be so fun. And last but not least, the main event. You know him, you love him. Eminem made a song about him. Venom. When I saw this design, when I saw this poster, it made me excited for all 19 inches of Venom. And yes, I just said that out. Out, out loud, you have to. He looks like a monster. <laughs> this is the Venom that I've been wanting. I love the kind of goofy anti-hero that we got with Tom Hardy's movies. But come on. You cannot deny Venom is at his best when he's a hulking monster who wants to kill Spider-Man. And that is what we have here. He looks just... He looks insane. His teeth, the tongue, the kind of jagged spider going around him. I would be remiss not to mention his toes. Uh, I hope this doesn't... <laughs> I hope this doesn't get age restricted because of all the stuff. 
So these are all of the posters. They were releasing them one or two times a day for the past couple days. We haven't gotten any today, which is kind of kind of curious. But maybe that just means we're getting something bigger in the future. These could have been like the, the, the appetizers. You know, like the, the chips and guac. Before we get the big enchilada. I just made myself so hungry. So, could we be getting a state of play sometime in September? We still have a couple, we still have like three, we still have three weeks left of September. Could we be getting a state of play to kind of show more of well, Spider-Man to further push sales and get fans hyped? I'm really hoping, I'm really, really hoping that we are. And with that, that is what I have to show you guys. Are you excited for Marvel Spider-Man 2? Yes? No? Maybe so? Let me know down below which of these posters looks the, the most badass. And why is it Big Daddy Venom? So, with all that being said, take care, stay safe, Drink your water and always remember, we are Venom.